We just learned Dhatu Varsai. As I was telling you, they are very important because they bring in the perfection of notes. When you are able to do it, jump from one note to the other perfectly, then the Swarasthana Shuddham is assured. So far, we have been concentrating on the melodic aspects and the voice culture aspects. Now, what about the Talam? Are you all kind of bored? by just singing exercises in Adi Talam? No? That's nice. I like it because they are all wonderful students who are more interested in the musical aspects than monotony, right? Anyway, now we will go on to the next session wherein we are going to change the Talams as well. So we will sing exercises or exercises have been coined. They have been specifically, specially uh, structured to suit specific talams and these are called the alankarams. Alankaram, the general meaning is ornamentation. Now, there are seven special talams called the Suladi Saptatalas, seven talas. They are called Shuladi Saptatalas because these talas, these seven have been used for uh, giving rhythm, giving the rhythmic structure to the Suladis, which is a specific type of composition that is very, very uh, characteristic of the state Karnataka. Now, these talas are not the simple 8 beat Adi Talam like. They are all different. They can be 14 beats, 10 beats, 6 beats and so on. So, that is what we are going to see now. Now, to learn Alankarams, we have Deepthi with us. The very first alankaram is in Dhruva Talam. Dhruva Talam is a 14 beat Talam. It goes like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you may ask me, oh my god, there are so many of these lagus. A lagu is a beat followed by the finger counting. Just a beat alone is called an anudratam. A beat followed by turning of the palm is known as a dhritam. Now, so many lagus, you may wonder how am I going to remember them. Don't worry. It's very simple. The exercises have been constructed, structured in such a way that you will easily, you know, put the talam properly. It will just go on. Mechanically, don't worry about it at all. Shall we start? The principle is the same. Again, first speed is one swara per beat. The same thing. Okay? Sari gama gari Sari gama gari Sari gari Sari gama Sari gari Sari gama This whole thing is one unit. Okay. One cycle. Sari gama gari Sari gari, sari gama. This is one cycle. Shall we go on? Ri gama pa ma ga, ri gama ga, ri gama pa ga ma pa da pa ma. Gama pa ma gama pa da ma pa da ni da pa ma pa da pa ma pa da ni pa da ni sa ni da pa da ni da. 
So that is the second speed. One can practice the third speed also, but lot of concentration should go on because should not make mistake in the talam. So this is where one gets introduced to the different talams. Yes, first speed it's relatively easy. Second speed is easier. Is that so? A little easier. Second speed is easier. You feel? Yeah, a little easier. Okay. I thought it was difficult because you will not know when to turn, yeah. when to do it. And third speed is the most difficult. Let me tell you. But with concentration and with lot of practice, these talams are all very, very simple. Very simple. You can just understand the logic also because the progression again is again is the same thing. Okay, shall we go on to the next one? The next one is a ten beat talam. That is called the Matya Talam. What we do there is instead of having one lagu followed by a dritham and two lagus. We just have one lagu, one, two, three, four, one dritham, and then another lagu, one, two, three, four. So you have a lagu, a dritham, and another lagu. Sari gari, sari sari gama, sari gari. Sari Sari Gama Ri Gama Ga Ri Ga Ri Gama Pa Gama Pa Ma Gama Gama Pa Da Ma Pa Da Pa Ma Pa Ma Pa Da Ni Pada ni da pada pada ni sa sa ni da pada ni. That is through the talam. Okay. So when you do it, you should remember. Sa ni da ni sa ni sa ni da pa. Repeat now. Sa ni da ni sa ni. Sa ni da pa ni da pa da ni da ni da pa ma da pa ma pa da pa da pa ma ga pa ma ga ma pa ma pa ma ga ri. 
It's actually very interesting because when we are taught these exercises, the elders did know, I'm sure they knew that it could, it's going to be confusing. Dhruva Thalam followed by Matya Thalam is actually very tricky because they're almost similar. Not only the structure of the Thalam, but naturally because of that, the structuring of the notes also. But probably in order to fortify us, in order to make us learn, and not get confused. I think we were always taught Dhruva Thalam first and immediately Matya Thalam. And then only the other Thalams, even though they are all entirely different from this. Isn't it? Yeah. The next is a very, very simple Thalam. It is the Rupaka Thalam, Chaturashra Rupaka Thalam. When I say Rupaka Thalam, everyone who has been to a concert would immediately think it is an easy three beat. One, two, three. One, two, three. No, but that is used only for compositions, mostly. But when we sing an alankaram, the actual rupakatalam is put like this. A drutam, one, two, followed by a lagu, one, two, three, four. So, a chaturasha rupakatalam is one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. Now you may ask me, why are you saying this Chaturashra? What is Tishra? Tishram is three. Chaturashram is four. Khandam is five. Mishram is seven. And Sankirnam is nine. So what we mean by these in the context of the Talas here is, when we say Chaturashra Rupakatalam, this Lagu is the one that permits all these numbers. Because the dhritam is fixed, it is one beat plus the turning. That is fixed. And anudhritam is also fixed, it is just a beat. But it is the lagu, that is the beat plus the counting of fingers that can vary. So when you have three units in all for a lagu, which means the beat plus two fingers, it is three. One, two, three. 3 is Tishram. 1, 2, 3, 4 is Chaturashram. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is Kandam. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is Mishram. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is Sankirnam. So that is what we mean. Chaturashram. Chaturashram, when we say Chaturashra Jati Rupakatalam, it means you have a lagu that permits of four units. Okay, so we are going to have Chaturashra Jati Rupakatalam, and the exercise for that is Sari Sari Gama. Sari Sari Gama Riga Riga Mapa Riga Riga Mapa Gama Gama Pada Mapa Mapa Dani Pada Pada Ni Sa Sa Ni Sa Ni Da Pa Ni Da Ni Da Pa Ma Da Pa Da Pa Ma Ga Pa Ma 
ಪಗರಿ ಮಾಗ ಮಾಗರಿ ಸ ಸರಿ ಸರಿ ಗಮ ರಿಗರಿ ಗಮ ಪ ಗಮ ಗಮ ಪದ ಮಾಪ ಮಾಪ ದನಿ ಪದ ಪದ ನಿ ಸ ಸಾನಿ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ನಿ ದ ನಿ ದ ಪ ಮ ದ ಪ ದ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಪ ಮ ಪ ಮ ಗ ನಿ ಮ ಗ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಸ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿ ಒನ್ ರೈಟ್ the next one is very interesting this is the jampa taalam and the alankaram that we are going to learn is in mishra jampa and as i told you mishra is along with the beat counting of six fingers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then you have an anudritam followed by a dritam so the talam is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we already learned a 10 unit talam what was that mathya talam mathya talam this is another 10 unit talam that you have learned this is mishra jampa sari ga sari sari ಗ ಮ ಸ ರಿ ಗ ಸ ರಿ ಸ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ರಿ ಗ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ಪ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ರಿ ಗ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ಪ ಗ ಮ ಪ ಗ ಮ ಗ ಮ ಪ ದ ಮ ಪ ದ ಮ ಪ ಮ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಪ ದ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಸ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಸ ನಿ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ನಿ ದ ಪ ನಿ ದ ನಿ ದ ಪ ಮ ದ ಪ ಮ ದ ಪ ದ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಪ ಮ ಪ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಮ ಗ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಸ ಸ ರಿ ಗ ಸ ರಿ ಸ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ರಿ ಗ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ಪ ಗ ಮ ಪ ಗ ಮ ಗ ಮ ಪ ದ ಮ ಪ ದ ಮ ಪ ಮ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಪ ದ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಸ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಸ ನಿ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ನಿ ದ ಪ ನಿ ದ ನಿ ದ ಪ ಮ ದ ಪ ಮ ದ ಪ ದ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಪ ಮ ಪ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಮ ಗ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಸ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಿಶ್ರ ಜಂಪ ತಾಳಂ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ತ್ರಿಪುಟ ತಾಳಂ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅ ತ್ರಿಪುಟ ತಾಳಂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಅ ಲಘು ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ದೃತಮ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ತಾಳಂ ವೆರಿ ಫೆಮಿಲಿಯರ್ ಅ ಲಘು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟೂ ದೃತಮ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಆದಿ ತಾಳಂ ಎಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಅನ್ ಆದಿ ತಾಳಂ is a chaturashra triputa talam which means we have 1 2 3 4 and then two dritams but the alankaram we are going to learn now is in tishra triputa talam which is 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 okay sa ri ga sa ri ga ma sa ri ga sa ri ga ma ri ga ma ri ga ma pa ri ga ma ri ga ma pa 
Gama pa gama pa da ma pa da ma pa da ni pa da ni pa da ni sa sa ni da sa ni da pa ni da pa ni da pa ma. Da pa ma da pa ma ga pa ma ga pa ma ga ri ma ga ri ma ga ri sa sa ri ga sa ri ga ma ri ga ma ri ga ma pa ga ma pa ga ma pa da ma pa da ma pa da ni pa da ni pa da ni sa sa ni da sa ni da pa ni da pa ni da pa ma da pa ma da pa ma ga pa ma ga pa ma ga ri ma ga ri ma ga ri sa this is tishra truputa now we finished five right and how many talams did i tell you totally seven seven now we have two more to go the next one is i would say even though it's only 14 units it seems that as if it is very very long and this talam called the ata talam is very well known because there are so many varnams very very famous popular varnams composed in this talam set to this talam so what we are going to now learn is the khanda jati ata talam khanda i told you is 5 so it goes like this 1 2 3 4 5 that is khanda lagu there are two lagus 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 1 2 so 14 units in all okay this is the khanda jati ata thala mm sari ga sa ri ga ma ma sari ga sa ri ga ma ma ri ga ma ri ga ma pa pa ri ga ma ri ga ma pa pa ga ma pa ga ma pa dha dha ma pa dha ma pa dha ni ni pa dha ni pa dha ni sa 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 ni dha sa ni dha pa pa ni dha pa ni dha pa ma ma dha pa ma da pa ma ga ga pa ma ga pa ma ga ri ri ma ga ri ma ga ri sa sa sari ga sa ri ga ma ma ri ga ma ri ga ma pa pa ga ma pa ga ma pa da da ma pa da ma pa da ni ni pa da ni pa da ni sa sa 
ಸಾನಿ ದ ಸಾನಿ ದ ಪ ಪ ನಿ ದ ಪ ನಿ ದ ಪ ಮ ಮ ದ ಪ ಮ ದ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಗ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಪ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ರಿ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಸ ಸ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ತಾಳಮ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲೆಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದಿಸ್ ಎ ಏಕ ತಾಳಮ್ ಏಕ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಅಂಗ ದಿಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅ ಲಘು ನೋ ಧೃತಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೋ ಅನುಧೃತಮ್ ಓಕೆ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಚತುರಶ್ರೀ ಏಕಂ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲೆಸ್ಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ಸ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ಪ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ಪ ಗ ಮ ಪ ದ ಮ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಸ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ನಿ ದ ಪ ಮ ದ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಪ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಸ ಸ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ಪ ಗ ಮ ಪ ದ ಮ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಸ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ನಿ ದ ಪ ಮ ದ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಪ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಸ ಸ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ಪ ಗ ಮ ಪ ದ ಮ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಸ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ನಿ ದ ಪ ಮ ದ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಪ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಸ ಸ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ಪ ಗ ಮ ಪ ದ ಮ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಸ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ನಿ ದ ಪ ಮ ದ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಪ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಸ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ಸ್ for all the alankarams you will not only understand the way the raga goes the way the swaras are structured but one will get a very good grip on the laya on the talam on the rhythm in general on the laya because even to sing in the first speed it is very difficult in the sense one has to concentrate and be very alert second speed is even more challenging and the third speed is very very challenging and one can do it only with complete dedication and with that kind of practice it is very easy to achieve this